All right, got the uh, got both the headers bolted up. You know, put the gaskets on there. Got them uh, bolted down. The uh, the starters wired up. It's pretty nice because you can actually just kind of get your hands in there and do the wiring. So don't really have to go under the car to do the wiring. You can kind of sneak your hands in there and do it. So um, yeah, these are nice. These are nice headers. It's got really nice uh, hardware. It's uh, takes a three eighths inch. Uh, end wrench or some of them I got a quarter inch socket on there was enough room some of them I had to use a wrench on but they're pinched pretty nice and the hardware is actually really nice so got that all set and uh, next thing I'll have to do I'm going to clean these up uh, put a little bit of Loctite blue Loctite on all the bolts for the headers and uh, I'm going to degrease these studs put some Loctite on where I'm going to screw them into the collector. So, get that done next. Alright, so... I don't know, yesterday was kind of a bust on this car. Uh, we got the headers on there. You know, they're all bolted up. Got the dipstick back in there. And pretty much spent the whole day playing around with the H-pipe. So... Got the H pipe on, I'm sorry, X pipe. Got the X pipe on there. And, uh, spent most of the day playing around with this thing. Now, the old, uh, the H pipe that was on here with the shorty headers actually has, uh, it's Mac, so it has threaded flanges, so I'm gonna have to go get bolts, but for now, I've got the studs in here. So, gotta get bolts for that. And this thing just was not fitting correctly. So, I'm going to grab the, the H-pipe that came off of here and show you what we did to get it to fit because I'm definitely not taking this one back off to show you how I did it. And the other issue um, is just the passenger side muffler and where the tailpipe's at. Come around on the other side here. So tailpipe is kind of pushed up against the uh, the frame back here so I don't know what I'm gonna do about that and then you know got like fuel lines and stuff right here so obviously that's not gonna work so I gotta get that figured out grab a light So you can see how it's really close to the tailpipe. But besides that, got it up there. So yeah, let me, uh, I'm gonna grab the old H pipe and show you how I bent that hanger. All right, so use your imagination and pretend this is a X pipe on the car, but you've got these hangers so the problem with the passenger side on the BBK X pipe is that this hanger was just not pointing in the right direction. So when I fit it up there, the collector was not mating up with this part of the X pipe. So basically I had to bend this hanger down and towards the passenger side of the car. So what I ended up doing is I got this pipe wrench and uh, you know the cheater bar so I kind of fit this on there figured out where I wanted to bend it and I put that cheater pipe on here had my dad standing on the pipe so the pipe wouldn't move and I just make an adjustment and uh, you know just fit it up on the car and see where it was at so I mean it was a time-consuming process I mean we probably fit the pipe up about five times before I got it where it would fit correctly so you know, I, I was almost to the point of like wanting to just cut that that hanger off of there. But we got it on there, so you know, sometimes you just gotta take your time and, and figure out what the issue is. So um I gotta finish up the 
the air injection lock offs uh, was gonna do that yesterday but I have to add on this passenger side you know uh, on my dad's car the battery is in the on the right side in the back it's relocated so I want to ground everything to the passenger side of the car so I have to add this ground wire and yesterday when I went to install that plate that's back there you know I had that uh, the copper RTV on there so what I did is I just got it on there and tightened it down and left it for today I just wanted that to dry up and bond to the head because I gotta take that thing apart and put the wires on I figured if I tried to get the wires on there with the goop on it and it was just gonna make a huge mess so I'm gonna get that going that should be dried up now so I should be able to take that bolt out and get this wired up there and still got really long way to go with this still got all the brake stuff to do got to get the booster back in and get the brake lines back on got to get this intake manifold on and all that stuff so see how far we get today